Welcome to another episode of Musk on the Move. I'm Kasturi and today's video is all about plants. So I'm very new to taking care of plants. Usually uh, whatever plants I used to get uh, used to die. So that is why it's been a long time that I didn't buy any plants because I was not much aware of how to take care of them also. So now I did my research, I did my study and then I went ahead and bought a lot of plants because plants give you so much positive energy. This is like one of the uh, huge hauls that I did, like the biggest that I know like I have done. I just wanted to mention that this video has three sections. So the first one, I show you all the plants that I got. In the second section, I share a few tips with you guys on how to take care of your newly bought plants when you get them from the nursery because newly bought plants often tend to die and we don't realize why and the third section is the announcement section where i have a very important channel announcement to make so make sure that you stick around at the end of this video and if you like my content don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button so youtube will notify you whenever my next video comes up and if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and without any further delay, let's get into the video. The first one is this cute little spider plant, which is also an endo plant. This one is another little plant called Mondo grass. It is also an endo plant. This beautiful one is a rubber plant. This one takes a lot of time to grow. The next one is a snake plant. It is good for air purification and it is also another Indo plant. I personally love this one. The nursery guy called it the hanging plant. This one is Tulsi. Everybody would know this one is Tulsi. So this one is a Juayan. I had it at home in Bhopal so I thought I want to have it here at home also and we eat it every day in the morning there in Bhopal so I'm gonna do the same here. This one is another beautiful snake plant. I just couldn't help myself but buy it. It's so beautiful. The colors are so vibrant. So this one is Peace Lily and uh, it is a great indoor plant it helps in air purification as well this one is called coleus look how pretty look how pretty this one is called Aurelia it is another beautiful plant I love the shape of its leaves This one is Pudina. I'm gonna have it every day in the morning. Then I had aloe vera already at home. It is growing like crazy. Okay, I don't want to be biased but this hanging fern is the most beautiful. So the first tip that I would recommend you when you get new plants from a nursery is to repot the plants after a week and if you want to add fertilizers you can do that while repotting the plant maybe after a week but not before that. The second tip is to remove all the weeds and all the dead leaves that you find in the plants you can also check this while purchasing the plants but if you come back home and you see any weeds or any kind of dead leaves on the pot on the soil do remove it because it can actually spoil your plant My third tip is to watering the plants when they really need it. Do not overwater them because that is one of the basic things why and how plants die. 
my fourth tip is to give the newly bought plants less sunlight and as all these plants that i bought are indo plants they usually don't need a lot of sunlight my fifth tip is the positioning of the plants move your plants if you have to otherwise let them be keep it under shade for at least a week till it adapts to its new climate condition since the plant has traveled from a nursery location to a different location altogether so it needs some time to adjust channel announcement time I realized that I don't want to limit my channel just to minimalism because I want to share other aspects of my life as well. If you've noticed my past few videos, they were not directly related to minimalism but were an extension of my lifestyle and my experiments with different things related to health, food and yoga, etc. Minimalism as a lifestyle is my personal choice that has benefited me in a lot of ways. which is why i want to share my journey with you so that i can help you in some part of your life as well but sometimes i feel like i have limited my channel by keeping minimalism as the main topic for the channel i have also added few major things like sustainable living and self love and then again it makes me feel limited and i don't want to keep my channel limited to a few topics as i want to show you other sides of my life too my activities thoughts including natural alternatives to things like skin care makeup you know my new habits of incorporating healthy options in my diet the superfoods that i've explored my journey to yoga and my latest obsession with face yoga and there is so much more that i want to share with you guys So this channel is always going to be a channel that inspires, gives courage and motivates you to live the best version of yourself. And honestly, Musk on the Move is all about that. Each one of us are always on the move to find our journey and purpose of life. So why not do it together and do it in the most natural way? If you want to know more about the name Musk on the Move and how I came up with it, then I'll leave a link in the description down below mentioning the whole story of musk and how the name musk on the move came up it is so real and it just makes sense so guys that's all for today's video i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i'm going to see you in my next one till then stay tuned and bye for now